Hello, and welcome to our channel Space Journey. Today, we're going to talk about completion of SpaceX's Starship Launch Tower. We will, as always, cover many interesting news about it, so you should definitely watch until the end. But at the beginning, please support us with subscribing to our channel and liking this video, so we can continue researching and making the best content about space for you. Anyways, let's start with the video. SpaceX is a forerunner in aerospace technology, and the company is working hard to develop their new spaceship rocket. They're developing a fully reusable rocket capable of returning people to the moon and allowing humanity to colonize Mars in several ways. SpaceX also sees a future in which Starship may be used as a point-to-point -point mode of transportation on Earth. The launch mechanism will consist of a Starship and a super heavy rocket that will take off from Starbase Stage 0. The launch vehicle and all ground support equipment, including the 400-foot-tall orbital launch tower, will be equipped with mechanical arms. The robotic tower will also enable engineers to stack the 160-foot-tall Starship spacecraft atop the 230-foot-tall Super Heavy rocket that will propel it into orbit. It is the tallest launch vehicle in the world, taller than the U.S. Statue of Liberty. Starship slash Super Heavy is also set to become the most powerful rocket ever developed. SpaceX employees in Boca Chica Valley affixed the Mechazilla arms to the 400-foot-tall orbital launch tower on Wednesday, October 20th. The Mechazilla arms will help the Starship launch system's development in the coming year. The highlighted image shows the latest set of arms the tower received this week, taken by local citizen at Lab Padre, who has cameras recording SpaceX's Starship progress. The tower is fitted with a pair of chopstick-like arms that are meant to grip the massive Super Heavy rocket and Starship as they descend to the launch pad. With this method of retrieving spacecraft, the corporation will be able to reuse the rocket in less than an hour. SpaceX will try to catch the largest ever flying object with robotic chopsticks, Musk said last month. Success is not guaranteed, but excitement is. SpaceX has yet to reveal an official rendering of how the rocket will be captured. SpaceX might catch the Starship and Super Heavy with Mechazilla, according to an astounding rendering by at ERCXSpace on Twitter. In response to the render animation, Musk stated that it is very similar to how the cars would be captured. Arms and boosters will move quicker. A QD, quick detach arm, will keep the booster stable for the shipmate, Musk remarked in response to the video. Mechazilla will also catch the Starship. There are no landing legs, just like with the booster. Those are only required for the Moon and Mars until local infrastructure is established, he continued. This month, CEO Elon Musk outlined how the firm plans to use a giant arm dubbed Mechazilla to move its new Starship rocket into position. In the future, the arm will also help SpaceX catch the ship after landing. This might aid the company in meeting its most ambitious goals, such as launching the same Starship three times a day. As a result, it stands a good possibility of reaching its aim of establishing a metropolis on Mars by 2050. It's one of the most ambitious aspects of a mission that's already forging new ground in spaceflight. The Starship is a completely reusable rocket that can launch over 100 tons of cargo or 100 passengers into space at once. The ship will support all of SpaceX's existing missions while also laying the path for more ambitious goals such as a moon base or a Mars metropolis. The underdeveloped vessel could become the tallest 394 feet and most powerful rocket 16 million pounds of liftoff thrust ever to fly. While it's already set to be an impressive visual sight, Mechazilla could make the scene look even more outstanding. Rocket launch towers are nothing new. According to NASA, the fixed service structure at Kennedy Space Center's launch pad 39A, which is utilized for rockets such as the SpaceX Falcon 9 and NASA's Space Shuttle, is 347 feet long from ground to top of the lightning pole. Three swing arms provide access to a shuttle stationed on the pad. It's great for astronauts' emergency escapes. Some Musk fans have already developed cartoons depicting how they think it would operate. But SpaceX is planning something greater with the Mechazilla. Musk announced in December 2020 that the company plans to grab the Super Heavy rocket as it returned to Earth using the launch tower's arms. In January of 2021, Elon Musk announced SpaceX's latest plan to increase the number of flights they can mount by drastically reducing turnaround time. The key to this was a new launch tower that would catch first-stage boosters after they returned to Earth. 
This would forego the need to install landing legs on future Super Heavy boosters, and potentially future starships returning to Earth. Mechazilla is the name Musk has given to the launch tower next to the Starship launch pad. The pad is located at the firm's Starbase facility in Texas, where it aims to host the rocket's first ever orbital flight later this year. Musk shared the idea in response to a tweet made by an animator who goes by the Twitter handle ErkX, who asked if his latest render of a Starship landing next to its launch tower was accurate. As usual, Musk responded via Twitter saying, we're going to try to catch the Super Heavy booster with the launch tower arm, using the grid fins to take the load saves mass and cost of legs, and enables immediate repositioning of booster on the launch mount, ready to fly in under an hour. The nine pieces of bolted steel that make up the tower, which measures around 145 meters or 440 feet tall, were recently completed by ground personnel at SpaceX's South Texas launch facility in Boca Chica. After completing the step, the teams may begin the process of equipping the tower with huge actuator arms, hydraulic systems, fuel lines, and other components that would transform it into Mechazilla, as Musk has nicknamed it. This was likely a reference to the character Mechagodzilla from the Godzilla movie franchise, a robotic version of Godzilla that squares off with the original in the 1974 film, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. The moment Musk announced this new tower, people in the space community have been speculating what it might look like. The first to oblige him was a 3D designer, YouTube handle Mini3D, who created an animation based on Musk's description the very next day. The latest comes from ErkX, who used the completed tower as a starting point for his latest animation. The animation is captioned, Mechazilla, less than one hour turnaround, and shows a fully operational tower catching a spent super heavy booster, which just returned from deploying a starship to orbit, and transferred it to launch stand. SpaceX has also been hard at work on the launch tower's ninth and final segment, which is thought to be the roof over the past week or so. That four-legged tower part has been equipped with an intriguing appendage, which was subsequently loaded with numerous large sheaves in the previous several days, i.e. pulleys. The arm carriage will most likely be pulled up and down the tower by a high-power pulley system, allowing it to grip, hoist and capture starships and super-heavy boosters. As a result, Musk is predicting a turnaround time of less than an hour and has stated that future starships will be retrievable using this and similar apparatuses. This later scenario is likely to occur if and when starships begin taking passengers on point-to-point -point flights between major cities, a service that Musk has promised will be available once the starship is cleared for commercial flights. However, SpaceX is poised to launch a fully stacked spaceship Super Heavy rocket into orbit for the first time this year. They do not intend to use the launch tower arm to capture the rocket during the initial flying attempt. According to a filing with the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, the Starship orbital test flight will originate from Starbase, Texas. SpaceX told the FCC in the filing document that the orbital Starship will continue on flying between the Florida Straits. The company stacked the launch vehicle for the first time during a FIT test on August 6. It was unstacked to continue preparing the spacecraft ahead of its pre-flight test campaign. Talking about Mechazilla, let's hope that Starship's giant orbital arm will be able to catch and assemble Starship boosters and Super Heavy boosters for quick reuse. So, what do you think about the Starship giant orbital arm? Will it be constructed to conduct its debut orbital test flight with a fully stacked Starship Super Heavy rocket this year or not? Tell us in the comments section below. And as always, Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to support us by subscribing and liking this video. We will do our best to make more videos for you with fascinating and interesting happenings in our universe. But for now, that's it. See you soon.